Okay, so in this video, part 30, video 36 of my community site series, uh, we're going to start working on a profile commenting system um, requested by HDWW Eclipse. Um, so I thought it was a great idea. It's very useful. Um, and we're going to do it, um, obviously, dynamic. It's kind of going to be a YouTube style thing, um, which is cool. Um, and it's going to send the user an email when someone comments on your profile so it'll send you an email uh, to the email that you used that's on your account um, it'll send you an email when someone comments on your profile so uh, that'll be nice so I've got the index page open here I'm gonna go ahead and close it and we have my profile page open here what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this box and we're gonna have another one down here and that's gonna be our profile comment area so um, what we're going to do first is we're going to create the database. Um, these are going to be our six fields, an ID, which is standard, profile ID, and that's going to be the um, commented ID, so the profile you're commenting on, the user ID and username of the person who is commenting and is posting the comment, the comment itself, and then the date of the comment. So, don't need that anymore. Actually, we might. Um, so, I've already typed it in. It's going to be called profile underscore comments. So we're going to type in ID and um, profile ID, and then this is going to be user underscore ID, this is going to be user underscore name, this is going to be comment, and the last one is date. Now our ID is going to be set to a big int, so that will make it so you can have a lot of comments. Set those to uh, what else? You know, they're setting them to primary and auto increment. Our profile ID is going to be set to a big int, and our user ID is going to be set to a big int, and that's so you can have lots and lots of users. Our username is going to be set to a varchar of 50 characters. Our comment is going to be set to a varchar of 250 characters, and our date is going to be a varchar of 50 characters. Um, and I'll and the reason we're going to do these is because I don't want the comments being too long. I mean, 250 is still kind of a stretch. That's a lot. So just hit enter, and our table is done. So now we can close this. Don't need to save. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down here. And this is the profile page. Right after this echo right here, or right before it. Sorry. Right before this echo, I'm gonna put in a bunch of spaces, and I'm gonna put in a comment saying uh, end right column so it's going to end our right column area and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this um, this code right here and that's going to give us um, part of the box if you will and then we need this part right here all of that and we actually need this bottom from everything from the div to div class bottom copy that and we need to put it in an echo so paste it in and the echo and we need to place in another end div right here to end our bottom and we're gonna change the text inside of here to the user's profile comments so that pretty much takes care of that and inside of here is where everything is gonna happen so yeah, that's about that's good. Um, go ahead and upload it and go back to the profiles page. If we refresh, you can see oh you can see we got a problem. So we're getting a problem is because we're ending or starting divs when we shouldn't. So um <laughs> oh I remember. I know. Um, it's because right here we need to get rid of that, and that's at the uh, bottom of the top box. Reupload. We refresh. That fixes our first problem, uh, but we still have one more problem, and we need to end one down here. I guess. Let's see that one. See if that's it. Refresh and problem solved. Um, so that fixes everything there, um, but we don't have any space in between these boxes, and we definitely want some space. So where we have our this div right here, 
I'm going to put in a style tag and say margin tack top. And uh, the tack is just a, a minus or a dash. Uh, I call it a tack, and that's what I've been doing lately, so whatever. Um, let's say about eh, 15 pixels. That should be good. Upload. Refresh. So that puts in a nice little space there. So inside of our text box here, um, we're going to display the comments, and we're going to have our form to actually be able to comment. So I'm going to throw some comments on our uh, profile page here and say, um, display comments, um, display comment form. And uh, one more above those, say um, comment button action. Um, so those are going to be our three general areas. So our form is what we're going to do first. Um, we're just going to put it down here. I'm not going to put it in a variable because I'm going to always have it displayed. So we want to put an action of our site variable, which we did in the last video, and then profile. And we don't need our PHP extension because the last video we put in some awesome HD access. And we won't need to say question mark ID equals and then our get ID variable. And that's the current user, so it'll navigate, it'll um, submit everything back to the current page. And then we need to set our, or we need to end our div. And then we need a table just to make it look nice. And then inside our table we need a column. And right here we need a TD, so give us a row, or a column rather, the other ones were rows, and end it. And I'm going to copy that, paste it, so our first area is going to be our text area, so text area, and I'm going to go ahead and just end it, text area, and inside of here we want to set a name equal to um, comment should be good, and I'm going to use style tags instead of using uh, coals and rows because it just makes it easier to work with. So a width of We'll say 400 pixels. That's probably too much, uh, but whatever. And we'll say height of about 75 pixels. So it should be good there. And the second uh, column here in the next row is going to be our button. So input type equals submit name um, comment btn to abbreviate it. Um, and a value of uh, comment. So go ahead and upload that and refresh the page. We now have our form. So a nice simple form. Um, so yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, I'm going to make a small modification to our styles page. So I don't think it's already in here. So scroll down where we have our classes and everything and right after our image um, area I'm gonna put it in code for text area and the reason being is because by default um, text areas are not do not use the same um, or actually never mind we don't need to do this forget about that and you just close the main page we don't need that go back though um, we don't need that I was uh, thinking of something else um, so inside of here we want to put in an if statement and this is going to be where we're going to check to make sure that the comment button has been pushed or pressed so we want to check for a post of our comment button and we're not going to have an else so we're not going to need um, that because we just won't because we don't want um, anything else to be displayed because we're always going to display the form so inside of here we need to get our comment variable from the uh, post. And then we're going to put in an if statement to check and see if 
the comment has been supplied. So we're going to say if comment. Um, and if the comment is not supplied, instead of just um, having an echo, what we're going to do is we're going to set a variable called msg for message. And we're going to say you did not supply whoops, a comment. Um, and then we're going to scroll down a little bit. Right before we show our form, we're going to put in another if statement. And what this is going to do is we're going to check for our msg variable. And if it's present, we're just going to echo it. So we got sign msg. So that'll make that'll do that. And after we add our comment, we need to get the date. And I'm going to set it in a variable called com date. And the com has two m's. We're going to use the date function. And the format um, that I'm going to set this in is going to be um, the month. In this case, October. Um, it's going to be two digits, 08 for today. And um, whoa. There we go. And uh, 2010. So that's going to be the format of it right there. So to do that, we want capital F, space, lowercase d, comma, space, capital Y. So that'll give us that format. And then we really don't need anything else. We're just going to add it to the database using a query. So insert into, and it was called profile comments or profile underscore comments and we want to say values and our values are going to be our ID which is just going to be blank then we need the profile ID which is going to be our get ID variable which is currently set on the, uh, the page above at the very very top and then we need the user ID of the currently logged in user and we already store the user ID and user name um, in session variables when the user logs in so we just have to call those variables and then we need the username and then the comment itself and then last but not least the date it's actually com date so that pretty much takes care of that and then we're just going to have an echo or not an echo sorry we're going to set our msg variable to your comments has been whoops has been added um, and is shown above. I guess that'll work. So um, after we display our MSG variable, I'm going to put in a um, a break tag just to give it an extra line and I'm going to submit it, or uh, upload it rather, and refresh the page. There's no visible change, but if we just click our comment button, you can see it'll take us back to the top. Oh, and we forgot to set a method inside of our form. So, our form action, and then we want a method equal to post. And I'm going to re-upload it. And now we get back to the profile page. So we click the comment button and it just says you did not supply comments. Okay, so I'm gonna stop this video here, I'm running out of time. In the next video we will continue on.